Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-eight in chapter thirty-one. Chapter thirty-one is about Maxwell equations and EM wave. So there we can see we have a laser. The power of the laser is given, and it tells us it puts on a narrow beam. And this narrow beam the diameter is given, so we can write down the radius there, right? And then ask you what are the RMS? This is a root mean squared value. Of the E and B in the beams, looks like we need to find the RMS, the electric field density and the B field density for this laser, right? This laser is EM wave, and what is given? It gives you the power, and also the areas. It tell you it's a circle, and the radius is given. So connect these two, we can consider the pointing vector because the Power output per unit area is intensity, and it also the magnitude of the pointing vectors, right? So we can write the pointing vector as the power divided by the e. This is called the uh, areas areas. Now this uh, pointing vector also connected with the root mean squared electric field density, c epsilon and e root r m s squared, right? And now. In this equation, the a can be write as pi r squared. Now we can solve the equation for the e r m s. So e r m s is this one squared p over c is not a, and a replaced with pi r squared. Now in this term, we can see all the quantities are given. So you can put input all the given quantities, get answer there. Similarly, we can write down the b r m s. With the e r m s in these equations, this is very straightforward because we know the b r m s equal to e r m s divided by the c. C is speed of light. Now you get the answer there. Thank you.